Planet Dolan. From uploaded makeout sessions to embarrassing revelations at Christmas parties, the Planet Dolan crew reenacts some of the best true stories from our subreddit about the worst times a secret came back to haunt us. I'm Hellbent, and today I'll be your narrator. Number 10 was submitted by Music Lover Girl 483 The worst time a secret came back to haunt Honeybits was when she was 11 and went on a trip with her Girl Scout troop. Before going on the trip, the leaders asked if she made any noise while she slept, such as snoring or using a breathing machine. Her parents said that she didn't. One morning, she woke up to find two of the leaders standing over her. One of them asked why she screamed in her sleep the night before. Honeybits didn't know what they were talking about, until one of her friends told her that she was screaming bloody murder in the middle of the night. Her friends said, You kept screaming, let her in! She didn't do it! Mommy doesn't hate us! She then asked Honeybits what she had been dreaming about. That was when she told the secret. She had PTSD and had been dreaming about her father's girlfriend who had been abusive towards her and her sister. It happened when Honeybits was four and lasted until she was six. At the next Girl Scout meeting, the leaders kicked her out, all because she screamed in her sleep. You know, after an intro that has uploaded makeout sessions and embarrassing Christmas revelations, this is kinda heavy, but here we are. It's like listing Anne Frank under top 10 hide and seek fails. Number 9 was submitted by Super Redzilla. One day, Sid took his dog out for a long walk. They walked so far that they got lost. He ended up on a street that had a small rest stop. A man was with his own dog at the rest stop and Sid's dog went crazy. His dog tried lunging at the other man's dog, but Sid pulled on a leash to keep him back. The leash ended up getting tangled from his dog going crazy. He lost control of the leash and his dog ran to the other dog and a blood battle ensued. Sid tried his best to stop the fight while the man ran to his car and grabbed a remote control for his dog's electric collar. The man took his dog back to the car while Sid managed to calm his dog and untangle the leash. He decided to keep it a secret as he was afraid he would get in trouble. Several days later, his mom noticed that his dog was foaming at the mouth and had to get rabies shots. To this day, Sid's family doesn't know how his dog got it. Number 8 was submitted by Do You Know The Way. When he was in third grade, Salty Squid transferred to a new school. He thought that if he wanted to make friends that he would have to say something really cool. So once he noticed a girl who looked nice, he tapped her on the shoulder. As soon as she turned around, he whispered into her ear, My dad's in the CIA and he taught me how to kill people with one strike of my thumb. Come to me if you need to handle a problem. She looked at him funny before he mouthed the words, Tell no one. Squid completely forgot about that day until two years later when he was at lunch. The girl and her boyfriend came to his table. She motioned to her boyfriend with her eyes, telling Salty Squid to finish the job. He didn't know what she was talking about, but then her boyfriend punched him in the face, giving him a black eye. It wasn't until he was in the nurse's office when Salty Squid remembered his little secret back in the third grade. The girl explained later on that she was with her boyfriend and his friends when they began to talk about who was the strongest. She mentioned what Salty Squid had told her and bragged about it to her boyfriend, who became jealous and insisted on seeing it for himself. Number 7 was submitted by Completely Abnormal. When Dolan was very young, he became hooked on a game called Dragon Veil, which he played on his iPhone. And the game players had to take care of dragons, breed new kinds, and expand their land to make room for more. Is this an advertisement? One day, Dolan figured out the password to his parents' iCloud account and decided to memorize it. He noticed he was running low on dragon food and he really needed more. He figured that he could borrow $100 from his parents' iCloud account and keep it a secret. On another day, he ran out of dragon food again. What a shock! It's like the game was made to prey on children. Anyways, he secretly bought another supply of dragon food for $100. His parents only found out when they got the bill, and understandably, they weren't too happy with him. I didn't think he'd notice. Was Dolan's excuse? Number 6 was submitted by Goliath97255. Throughout Legna's life, his family hosted a New Year's Eve party for family and friends. One year, he decided to invite his best friend Tolop and his cousin. During the party, they decided to play Truth or Dare. When it was Tolop's turn, he asked Legna which one he wanted. 
He quickly answered Dare, wanting to look brave in front of Tolib's cousin. Tolib dared him to kiss his cousin, but Legna didn't want to. However, his cousin still went up and kissed him on the lips. Little did they know that Tolib was recording it. A few months later, Legna had forgotten about it, but became closer to Tolib's cousin. That was until he went on Instagram and saw that Tolib had posted the video. Although the heads were blurred out, it was still obvious who was in the video. Even though he doesn't talk to Tolop anymore, Legnan continues to date his cousin. Number 5 was submitted by Black Jaguar. Gurgak really liked to masturbate, and one day he went on his favorite website and began doing it. Halfway through, he realized that he didn't lock his bedroom door. That was when his brother walked in and said, Hey, can I borrow your- What the hell are you doing? And was so awkward that Gurgak said, It's our secret, don't tell anyone! His brother agreed to keep it a secret, but only if he gave him $100, which he did. That Christmas, they had a family gathering. Everyone was there, and during dinner, his brother turned to Gurgak and asked, Hey, do you remember that time I saw you doing it? Everyone at his table began laughing, and Gurgak was so mortified that he peed himself. Ever since that day, Gurgak never told anyone a secret. Number four was submitted by Sulfarian Hawk. When he was in high school, Derek was in his earth science class, typing on a word processor that he used to write papers in and take notes in class. When his friends asked him about the device, Derek let it slip that he also used to write stories and published a couple of them on a website with one of them getting 55,000 views. Suddenly, their teacher came up and asked what they were talking about. His friends told the teacher that they were talking about Derek's story writing and that one of the stories he had published got a lot of views. The teacher looked it up, and when he found it, began reading it to the class. Derek was horrified because his story had an explicit sex scene. He screamed in embarrassment and ran out of the classroom as soon as the teacher read that scene. Later that day, Derek noticed that he had a notification from the site where he published the story. It was pretty awkward. Number 3 was submitted by Skull Security. Pandora was in the 7th grade when her friend Ramona asked who she had a crush on. After several days of asking, Pandora finally revealed who her crush was. She told Ramona to keep it a secret, and she agreed, until they had a big argument and decided to no longer be friends. To get back at Pandora, Ramona told her crush Pringle their secret, and he ended up asking her out. However, Pandora told him that she didn't want to go out with him because she didn't believe that he meant it. Later that day, while they were in math class, Pringle threw the papers they were passing around at her. When the teacher asked him what was wrong, he stood up and yelled, She won't go out with me! The teacher found it funny and said, Ooh, denied! Pandora was teased about that for the rest of the school year, even earning the nickname Denier. Even when she went to college, Pringle called her Denier in one of her classes. Once again, it became her nickname. Number 2 was submitted by Orange Idiot 432 when she was 11, Spences loved writing fan fiction as well as normal stories. One day, her dad read one of her normal stories and liked it so much he wanted to show it to her teacher. On the night of parent-teacher conferences, Spences went to her bedroom and grabbed her book with her story so her dad could show her teacher. After he left for the conferences, she went back to her bedroom to work on some more fan fiction, which she wanted to keep secret because it was very violent. However, the book of writing she found had the story her dad wanted to show to the teacher. That's when Spences noticed that her teacher was about to read an extremely violent piece of fan fiction. Her heart began to race, and she didn't know what to do. At school the next day, her teacher glared at her a lot. She also ended up getting in trouble with her dad. As a result, she stopped writing fan fiction. What's the worst time a secret came back to haunt me? One time, my sister asked me who clogged the toilet. And you know me, I'm a busy guy. I don't have time to answer questions like that, so I said I don't know. And seeing as she didn't bother me about it, I assumed the problem fixed itself. Later in the evening, I had to press my powerful posterior against that precious porcelain pooper. And after I dropped a load of horrors untold, I gave the toilet a confident flush. And that poor toilet overflowed in about half a second. There's poop water splashing all over the place. I'm wading through it, trying to plunge it as hard as I can. It's getting in my face and in my mouth. And I'm crying. I'm thinking, why? Why is this happening? Why me? And I realize it's all my fault. I did this. I deserve all of this. 
So what's the lesson here? Well, it's that some secrets shouldn't be kept. And proper fiber intake is important for all ages. Huge thanks for the folks over on our Planet Dolan subreddit for submitting their stories. We have another question for you. What is your most ridiculous pet peeve? Let us know on the Reddit page linked below and you might be featured in a future countdown. Check out the latest Dolan card update, Nixiumville. A new character, heaps of new skins, a new power-up, new level, daily missions, and offline mode. Download from the Android or iOS app store and start racing today for free. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.